So tell me, Lauren Perkins, uh, obviously, uh, and, and I can vouch for this from watching the videos, uh, and of course, the, the proof is in the pudding with all the awards you have won. You're an extremely accomplished skateboarder, but uh, you're also modeling and you're acting. So where do you see your future career going, your future career path? <laughs> well, thank you. Um, I don't know. You know, I just like to do whatever's at me for the most part, but I enjoy doing acting and, and any anything I get the opportunity to do, all, I like to do it. And um, movies and commercials and stuff like that are definitely fun. So hopefully some more of that. We're going to get to the callers in just a second, but I want to remind all of you uh, that the place to go to register and uh, qualify for uh, a free gift could be a limited edition Make It Pro uh, t-shirt. It could be a Pal Talk Premium Nick that you can either keep for yourself or give to someone else as a gift. And what a great gift uh, during the holiday season. All you got to do is go to www.makeitpro.com slash TV and uh, and register. It's absolutely free, and you'll be in the running to win uh, some of these great prizes. Uh, I got a, a gazillion questions for you, Lauren, but are you ready to hear from some of the fans out there? Yeah, bring it. Let's go to Jeff in Oregon. Jeff is uh, an athlete. He's a special Olympian, and he is a gold medal winner himself. Jeff in Oregon, welcome to Make It Pro TV. Hey, Lauren, how are you? I do uh, cross-country skiing, and I was just wondering, what's the difference from you guys compared to Special Olympians, you know? Even Gary promised me my shirt. I did not see it yet, Gary. And Lauren, we'll work. I yeah, promise right? you, I promise you, Jeff, we're going to work on a shirt for you. Don't you worry about that. I, my my word is my bond, my brother. Don't worry about that. But are, is, is there any difference between you doing a cross-country ski or a special Olympian? I would presume that it's pretty much similar, right? Um, well, the yeah. training... I Um, uh, go ahead. I, I, I'm sure for a cross-country skier, you have way more intense training than I have. Um, yeah, I don't know. That's that's props to you. There you go. Props to you. You got some talent there that uh, Lauren wishes she had there, uh, Jeff. And me too, man. I get scared. I mean, really. I'm I, I, when it when it comes to skiing, I'm I'm really very good at ski lodging. I'm excellent at ski lodging, but when it comes to the skiing, that's another story. Let's go across the pond to the United Kingdom and Mark in Manchester, England. Mark, welcome to Make It Pro TV. Hi. Um, should I say, I'm, I'm not really that into motorsports, sports, but I've been watching your videos and uh, seeing you do your stuff. I can't believe a girl could do that. You know, I, I know, you know you're probably sitting there and laughing at me, but... It, I can't believe a girl like you could do something like that. You know, I watch Jackass and a few other programs, where they're, they're, most of them are skaters, but most of your stuff is unreal. Um, who actually um, did you look and sort of enjoy to start getting into skateboarding? Did, did you have like a fan, of, you know, like a fan or anything like that? Um, not a fan. Um, a favourite skateboarder? or anything like that when you were a child, which made you think, yeah, I fancy doing that. Yeah, definitely. Um, I When I first started, I didn't really know there were girls out there that skated. And then, you know, after watching skate videos and stuff, I really started to look up to Alyssa Steamer, who at the time was the only other girl street skater out there. So... I actually got my daughter a skateboard when she was young. She didn't take up on it uh, too well, but she wanted it. I went out and I got her a real good one. But uh, I, I passed uh, having to buy any more for any kids myself. But um, I, I'm kind of curious. I really had a difficult time figuring out which skateboard to, to, to buy her. For somebody who's uh, first starting out, what would you recommend? And do you use different uh, skateboards yourself for different environments? Well, for someone who's starting off, it's really just 
I mean, as tacky as this sound, you just go by what looks what you what you like, really. Um, and there is different kinds of skateboarding for different terrain, I guess you could say. For half pipe, the vert, big vert ramp that some of the guys ride, you want to use a bigger board with bigger wheels um, because you have so much speed. So that helps helps you have more control. Um, for street skating, you use a board that has smaller wheels. And it's all personal preference, but um, but yeah, I use a board that's a little bit mm, slim, more slim, like not as wide, and has smaller wheels. So the guest is Lauren Perkins, L A U R E N Perkins, P E R K I N S, top rated woman skateboard professional. Uh, she's uh, started skating at the age of seven, and now she's one of those old-timers out there, the ripe old age of 20. <laughs> but can you imagine, 20 years old, and she's been uh, skating for so long, uh, skateboarding for so long. Uh, by the way, I got a, a text message from our last caller uh, there in uh, Manchester, England. Please tell her I said, well done, she's ace. So there you go. Uh, let's go to another Mark. Uh, this uh, Mark is in Houston, Texas. Mark, welcome to Make It Pro TV. All right, thank you. Uh, first of all, Lauren, uh, thank you for uh, being here and, and uh, sharing everything with us. Uh, me and my brother had started skateboarding back in the uh, mid to late 80s, uh, around the time before Tony Hawk made it pretty big. Uh, who were some of the bigger influences for you to enter the sport, some of the bigger uh names even locally that made you want to get into it and also uh where do you see the future of skateboarding going well um for me the bigger names i would say tony hawk was definitely a, a big inspiration in skateboarding in general with everything he's done but uh i didn't really have anybody looking up besides Alyssa steamer for girls um so, yeah, I kind of just pushed myself and skated with the guys as much as possible. And for the future of skateboarding, hopefully, it, it, you know, something that becomes an Olympic sport or grows to be bigger than it is, maybe more mainstream, it's getting there, though. So hopefully soon. Well, you know, if ping pong can be an Olympic sport and if uh... – uh, shooting a gun can be an Olympic sport. <laughs> I don't think you work up much of a sweat uh, pulling a trigger. Maybe you do. I'm not saying there isn't a lot of skill in it, but uh, certainly skateboarding ought to be. Where's your favorite place to skateboard? My favorite place to skateboard would be probably Barcelona, Spain. I've been there once before, and the whole trip was just amazing. The weather, there's so many skateboard spots. So 